Hello and welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. Well, today what I'm going to do is I thought I'd come up here quickly and show you three styles that I do when it's a bad hair day or if I just don't feel like messing with my hair. So I'm going to show you three different ones. Let me show you the scarves I'm using. One scarf is this pretty, look how big this scarf is. So pretty, and look at it. It has pretty little flamingos on it. Thrifted, of course, one dollar, but it's got beautiful colors. And look, at the end, it also has pretty striped colors. So this is a beautiful color. The second one I have is this gigantic black zebra print one isn't it gorgeous and if you look real close it also has little designs in it i really love this one and each one of them style with this h&m dress so i made sure i put on something just black um not anything too colorful because i want to show you the different ways i can wear it with this dress as well and of course my makeup is also limited. So, and the third scarf is not as big, but look at the designs in it. Isn't that nice? Sorry if you heard my bird. Whenever you talk in this house, that parakeet tries to talk above you. If I stop talking for like five minutes, you won't hear the parakeet. But look at these colors, the brown and the yellow and the design in the scarf. Each one of these, I don't think I paid $4 for any one of these. I think they were one and $2. So if you think you're interested in seeing how this grandma styles those three scarves, then keep on watching. Okay, so for the first look, I have these Natasha beautiful pink earrings that I got from Dillard's, which you know I tell you just about all my earrings come from Dillard's. But they are so sparkly and cute. Ciao. Okay. Now, let me show you how I will style the scarf. So I even wear scarves when I just don't, I just want something different and you want the hair off your face. Um, it's not always a bad hair day. So I'm gonna take this big scarf and I never, I don't have no particular way I do it, Tanya. I just put it on and I just go for it. So we are gonna go for it. So I would just put it on like this and then I always take it behind my ears and wrap it around. Sometimes it take me three or four times before I like it because I don't have no certain way to wrap these long things. So I just do it whatever way I feel like it. So then I take it and then my granddaughter has company over. They don't care that I'm in here filming. Kids these days just don't care. They in there talking and everything. So excuse if you hear them too. Okay, so see, sometimes you have this little piece like this. So what I just make sure I do is I just take it where I can cover it up. See, I just take it where I can cover it up. And then whatever I have left over, if it's too tight, I won't tie it. But if not, then I'll just tie it up top or I might tie it in the bottom so you can't see it. But this one, I don't mind the way it looks. See, and sometimes I let little hair hang out, let you know, I got some hair in there. I just got it tied up. Or if you don't like it, then you just can tuck your hair under. So see, that's it from the side. And that's how it looks in the back. 
Child, I don't know what the back be looking like, and I don't care. So, see, got my pretty Natasha earrings on and my scarf, and it just changed the look. You pretty girl. Listen, if you don't think it, nobody else is going to think it. So, every day, tell yourself in the mirror, you pretty girl. Okay, so stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to style the yellow and black. Now, this has tan color in it, and just it brings a little spring color. Then I will I put on my yellow earrings. These are from Dillard's. You know, Dillard's be having sales. Y'all be slipping because these earrings be $30 and $40. And soon as Dillard's have a sale, honey, I get these for $8, please. And they last. I've had these earrings for three years and they still look fabulous. And you'll know because if your back earring piece start getting rusty and you still wearing them things, honey, no, time to throw those things away. These are not that way. They last forever. Now for this one, I'm gonna keep my hair out. So you don't necessarily always have to um, make it so that your hair is always hidden because it's not always, like I said, a bad hair day. You may just have a bad edge day. <laughs> y'all get it? When the edge of your hair is all natty. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If your hair is natty, but your weave is straight, or your hair is natty around the edges, and you trying to wear some hair and they, it just don't go together, honey, please cover it up. I'm trying to show you what you can do. So you see how the hair is still looking good, but maybe your edges aren't right. So just do this and so what I do is I tie it up in the back just like always but it's covered up so you can't see it then I do that get myself together I'm not changing my makeup okay so this pink gonna go with this yellow because I'm not changing no makeup and go do all that stuff you know what I mean it's still a cute though so see, this is the way it looks in the back. And you got your yellow on, you like, hey, I'm bringing you some color in this winter time. This H&M dress, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a full picture when I go outside so y'all can see the, you know, one of the full outfits. So I'm gonna either keep on one of these, uh, I'll probably keep the pink on cause that pink was pretty. And I'm going to put on my boots and I'm going to show you how the whole dress look. I love this H&M dress and I got it for $9. See, I, what I'm trying to tell you is you can look fabulous on a budget. You don't have, wait till this stuff go on sale. See, the thing is, everybody wants to keep saying trendy. I only can buy when it's trendy. Then that must be all expensive. A person like me wait for it to go on sale and I'll get the same thing. And I'm going to wear it when I want to wear it. Even when you say it's not trendy. They say, oh, everybody got a Gucci belt. Everybody don't got no Gucci belt. I know quite a few people that wish they had to spend the money for a Gucci belt. They don't have no Gucci belt. And I don't care if Gucci go out of style tomorrow. Everybody say, don't wear no Gucci belt. I'm still going to wear my Gucci belt. I paid $125 for that belt. I'm going to wear the belt until the belt fall apart. Anyway, don't get me started. So, here's the look. What you think of this grandma and her gosh girl that I got for a dollar? Okay, earrings. I think these were six. Scarf a dollar. Dress nine dollars. Mm -mm. No, until you know how to do that, till you bargain shop, thrift, vintage, or get stuff when it's on mega sale. Okay, 20% ain't a sale unless the mess is ten dollars. 20% is not a sale. You got to go to that 50, 75 cent, 75 percent off rack. Y'all tell me what you think, even though I don't care. But anyway. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, I'm back. I had to get my granddaughter to come here and put the brooch on. I couldn't put this thing on for now. 
And look at that. <laughs> I usually don't buy dupes. If I can't afford the real thing, I'll get something that looks similar. Okay, sorry. Granddaughter just bust in to get the lash glue. I'm trying to record. Ugh. Anyway, so I got her to put the brooch on. Usually, like I said, I don't buy... Uh, I usually don't buy dupes. If I can't afford the real thing, I just won't get it. But this was so cute on Etsy. And I can't remember who I got it from, guys. If I can remember who I got it from, I'll go ahead and link it. But it is so adorable. So I went on and got it. Okay, so I'm going to put this scarf on now. This one is huge. You can wear this scarf like over something you can put it as a scarf it's so big look it's huge but i use it as well when i want to cover my head now i use this one when i want to do some serious damage like my head is tore up and i really need to cover it up that's when i use this bad boy right here so Usually what I'll do with this one is, I'll do this one to the front. So, it's so big that I make sure that it covers my entire head. Then I bring it around. I do a twist. Look, this cute like this. Look at my long hair. Remember when you're younger, you played with um, pull cases and anything you could find to make your ponytail long? Or was that just me? Mm -hmm. Don't forget, y'all. I'm almost 60. Ain't no telling what I was doing. Okay, so then I bring it around. Now, I can bring it around like that and make it all cute. Or, I could do it like that and bring it around. Where it look like a braid and then I can just tuck it under real good so see I be trying to tell you what you can do so see and it looks like a braid now I want y'all to tell me below the three people who follow me girl I ain't got no followers I'm new. I ain't got no followers. It'll be years. But tell me which scarf look did you like? Number one with the pink. Number two with the yellow. Or number three with the bling. That's what you put. So let me show you in the back. I might take a look. Um, I might take a picture of this look and put it on Instagram. So that's it for this video. And I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, leave a comment. Uh, I will delete any negative comments. I'll block you. Block, 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 because I don't care. This channel is all for positivity. Now, my next video is going to be, of course, you know I got to do substance. My channel is Style and Substance. Age is how you wear it is from the inside and out. So when I give you my fashion looks, I got to give you some inside stuff to help you on the inside. So stay tuned for why you can't just say no. You got to stop saying yes to everything. Bye, guys. Have a good evening.